All right, we're here at 203 Sydenham Street. Okay, we got first floor, second floor, and a uh, half floor up top where unit seven is. All right, check out the exterior first. Here's the intersection here. Very popular spot if you're not from in town here. Uh, that's uh, Princess Street, the next one over. Shopping area for downtown. Here's the surrounding spot, mostly residential back through here on Sydenham Street. Very nice spot. Okay. Check out the side here. New roof, soffit, fascia, some new windows. Just down there is the K Rock Center, and City Hall is just down a little ways on the water. Walking distance to everything downtown. Very nicely done limestone. Foundations in great shape. Brick on the back half here. New soffit, uh, soffit and uh, downspouts and eaves troughs. Okay, so. I'll take you for one, uh, one to seven, one through seven apartments here. So this is the back of the building. And there's a fire escape that goes up there, which is access for the second floor and the third, which is great. Okay. All right, so apartment one is the basement apartment. Okay, so straight in to apartment one here in the basement. Uh, to the left, basically this would be along Queen Street, this uh, back portion here. Living room with uh, laminate flooring. Okay. Drywall and everything's in good shape. Baseboard heat down in here. Uh, closet to the right. Straight through to the kitchen. Okay, tile in here. Little drywall um, repair there. Okay. Four piece bathroom. Let me get lights on in here too. Four piece bath. Little, little old and dated. Could use a, a new tub. I suppose cosmetically especially and then uh, all tiled back through here as well and here is the bedroom good size okay hope that makes sense and then straight through there to the stairs up to the back lot Okay, now in through here we have um, oh, lock up top. In through here is all the utilities. Okay, so the old stone basements, very typical for downtown Kingston. They actually, you can tell they actually took the limestone right out of here, drilled right or pounded it right out of the bedrock to build a lot of this. Okay, limestone ledge. Goes in behind, cut your plumbing up top here. Uh, that's a, like a bit of a fire escape for the uh, basement. And it uh, comes out by the sign up the street. And then we've got the electrical here. 200 amp service. This uh, hot water tank is not in use anymore, but this brand new, very high-end boiler does all the hot water, as well as all of the um, radiant heat for the whole building. So it's very efficient, as you'll see from the utility numbers. 
and that's it for you. Okay, so I'm at the back, just came into apartment two. This is probably the nicest unit in the whole place. And okay, so we have radiant heat here from the boiler. Everything's really nicely done and kept here. Good sized kitchen, all tile floor through here. That's Queen Street out that side. Laminate in the living room. Okay. Very nice. And then bedroom here. Uh, I would say almost 10 foot ceilings in here. Okay, radiant heat there too. And tile and a four piece bathroom. Tub's in good shape in here. Toilet and sink look good. Okay, back to the front. Uh, unit two at the back was main floor, rear, and this is now the front door, and this is apartment three, okay? Uh, so main floor, apartment three, straight in, you've got your heat coming from here, very efficient, uh, tile straight through to the washroom, Hi, and let's see, you got a little drywall, drywall repair here. I want to point out any problems I can see, so you get a real feel for the place. Toilet's in good shape, uh, tub is in good shape, probably eight foot ceilings in here, drop ceiling, could be cleaned up a bit. Looks like it, there's been an old leak before, could have been decades ago. Okay, uh, Sydenham Street, and this is the corner of Sydenham Street and Queen Street here at the front. Again, 10 foot ceilings on the main. Very nice spacious feel here, kind of a eat-in kitchen combination, um, living room sort of feel. Another radiator there, radiator. New windows here. And the one bedroom. There's carpet in here, it's in good shape. Okay, again, a little crack over there in the drywall. Okay, so front door to the left of apartment three for units four, five, and six. Come through the left here. Another radiator in the hallway for the heat, and we're upstairs. All right, uh, unit four is at the back and we have the fire escape right outside unit four to the back where one and two are. Okay, that's the neighbor's roof. All right. So here's the look over here. All right, and to number four. Okay, so coming into four here, on the left we have a bedroom, a laminate floor, probably a, about an eight by 10 and a half bedroom. All nicely tiled through here. His son-in-law is a contractor. And bathroom through here. Sink is medium condition there, not too bad. The tub also, I'd say not pristine, but not horrible. Okay, tiles look to be in good shape. Okay, nice living room here. Looks to be in good shape, fairly new windows. Stove, kitchen, 
cat. Okay. All right. Uh, radiant heat. And fridge over there, kind of at the entrance. Okay, so from four, heading towards the front of the building again, a few steps up, we have five and six, which are now combined. Uh, this could be its own bachelor with a three-piece bath, and this could be its own one bedroom with a four-piece bath. And uh, you'll see how they're combined. That was reduced for the sake of uh, tax purposes. Six, cheap, uh, six units is uh, a cheaper uh, tax bracket than the seven units. Okay, so in through door number five here, um, this could be a bachelor apartment. Okay. Radiant heat here too. Straight around here, you've got the uh, three-piece bath, toilet, shower, sink, medium condition there. Shower's in great condition. Good. Carpet in here. So what's been done is the uh, this door has been installed and opened up. So if this was closed off, you'd have your uh, bachelor apartment. And so now we are in seven i believe right uh six. Oh, six, right yes so six uh front door over here perfect i'll throw some light on okay so if i just came through door six here thanks man um you'd come to the right and have your three-piece bath oh four-piece bath yep four-piece bath tub and drain everything is in good shape here tiles in great shape Okay, so entrance at door six here. Come in to the right, tile floors. Uh, the bedroom is laminate flooring. Eight foot ceilings, drop ceiling. No signs of damage or anything in here. Okay, now back out. And get your uh, kitchen and living area here. Everything's in good shape. Uh, window AC unit there. Tile in the hall in the kitchen, laminate floor in the living room. Okay, so five could be a bachelor and it's combined with six. And then seven leads to a stairway up to the uh, last bachelor apartment or one bedroom apartment. So through the door for number seven there up to a landing and then up another flight. And this is the uh, one bedroom at the half floor up top. Floor dips a little bit to the left there. Nothing too major. Not exactly for super tall people. Probably about six foot something in here, right? Yeah. <laughs> Five foot. Eight, well, five, five foot eight. Nine. Okay. My sons are in the Navy and their heads just. Oh, wow. Grew. That's wild, eh? We were getting ready for a bath. Excuse me. Oh, the good water. stuff. I wasn't no going to dump it. <laughs> okay, good stuff. Okay, so a bit of a half ceiling here. Perfect. Bathtub's in great shape. Terry keeps good care of the place up here. A stove, sink, fridge. And then the, the one bedroom here. So, yeah. Good stuff. I'm 6'2", and it's a little tight for me, but not too bad, right? You're not tight. There we go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then we've got the wood floors here. And then around here we've got kind of the living room. Awesome. Could be used as bedroom. Thanks. Okay. Out the front here to Sydney and Queen that way. So let's... And some radiant heat up here. Queen Street. Perfect. Queen Street window. Perfect. Thank you, Terry. You're welcome.